Welcome everybody to this edition of Conversations with Archbishop Kurtz. As you can tell, once again, we're in the beautiful Cathedral of the Assumption, and we're glad you could be with us for this episode. You know, we have three segments as usual, and in a few minutes, Archbishop Kurtz is gonna do a couple interviews. The first one will be with some young people who were preparing for the Sacrament of Confirmation. That'll, that'll be a great sh story for you. And then two men from our diocese will be talking about our annual men's conference. But first, let's take a few minutes to spend some time with Archbishop Kurtz. Welcome, Archbishop. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. It's happy, I'm happy to be here in February. Now, you've just traveled. Uh, you had a, a kind of a, a strange geography trip. You went to Rome and then to Haiti. I did, last we, month. Yeah, we want to talk mostly about Haiti, but that was kind of a zigzag trip for the same purpose. But let's talk about Haiti first. What was the purpose of this two-part visit, first to the Holy See and then to Haiti? Well, well, first of all, Brian, thanks for asking. I, I'm so happy to be able to talk to our people about this. Uh, five years ago, a terrible earthquake hit the shores of Haiti. Uh, the estimate is that 300,000 people died from that earthquake. We're talking about 3% of the entire population. Another 2 million people were displaced. So there was uh, not only great tragedy and great uh, pestilence going on, but also the structures that support people, the, the churches, the schools, the hospitals, they needed rebuilding. So I was going back along with others, uh, first of all, to be part of a pilgrimage of hope, to be joined to say to the people of Haiti, to the bishops who lead the church in Haiti, that they are not alone. And then secondly, uh, to be able to report back here in the United States uh, of the generosity of so many of our Catholics who, who gave uh, five years ago, to tell them about the, the rebuilding that's already occurring. Now, now, you went with the folks, the leadership from the Catholic Relief Services. I did. Tell us about that and a little bit. That's right. Now, Catholic Relief Services, of course, is the humanitarian arm of the Bishop's Conference. And so we, we began, because of the invitation of Pope Francis, to go by way of Rome, as you said. It was really inspiring because we had the opportunity that Saturday to meet with our Holy Father and probably about 150 people from various countries to talk specifically about, it was a day of reflection and prayer on the tragedy and the res restoration in Haiti. And our Holy Father talked, uh, gave a wonderful sense on human dignity, on the importance of churches helping one another, ecclesial community, and also on the importance of the local church. Now, how, how, how has rebuilding gone? That was five years ago, but I know there's so much destruction. So well, not only destruction, but uh, Brian, there's not always the infrastructure. Uh, the, here's what I had heard. People were saying the, the three B's, build back, better. build back better. So the idea is to build back, and in fact, uh, we have a beautiful hospital dedicated to Francis de Sales that was restored. But the idea is not to simply rebuild, but to build in a way that we believe will resist the kinds of forces of nature that so often hit Haiti. and. Uh, I, I was impressed by the progress that's been made. That's terrific. You know, the um, people of this archdiocese are always known for their generosity. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that before. So many local situations like the Crusade for Children and so forth, and always to the church and their parishes. But I'm never more moved when I see how quickly our people respond to uh -huh. worldwide tragedies such as this. Something happened so far away, but so uh, talk about that. How has that generosity yeah. impacted no, people? It, it, it's a wonderful thing. Um, it was a regular collection taken up yeah. uh, throughout the, the dioceses throughout the country. I think the total collected was over a hundred million dollars. From Catholics in from the United Catholics States? From Catholics in the United States. Wow. And as we had done in the past, a portion of those funds, I think 33 million, were set aside for church rebuilding. And then the rest, it was uh, I think 70,000, so the total must have been, I'm pretty good at math, 103 million. Uh, but about 70 million was then given for humanitarian purposes through the workings of Catholic Relief Services. And so the new hospital that was just built, that was built through the generosity of the, the funding from our Catholic people, as well as some of the hospitals, the Catholic hospitals in the United States who gave through the Catholic Health Association. The churches are being rebuilt. I was uh, there where a Sacre Coeur Church, the foundations have been laid, and that church is going up, and I saw pictures of about six or seven other churches that have already been built. 
That is terrific. Yeah. Now that reminds me, you know, uh, I think it was only a year or two ago you you made a similar trip to the Philippines. So you're you're doing a world travel here, but it's I, always I, with CRS. Is that uh, right? Exactly. And in fact, it was the similar a similar purpose for uh, our bishops' conference. First of all, to be united under our Holy Father with the bishops' conference in uh, the Philippines, and uh, to show that that as partners. We know that in this case, the Haitian people uh, and the Haitian leadership, they're in charge. They're building uh, for themselves and we're simply partners helping. The same thing occurred just a year ago when we made the visit to, to uh, the Philippines. So, so in a sense, um, this is part of the Catholic Relief Service's efforts to be accountable maybe it is. to the people in our country? It is, uh, and Brian, you're, you're someone who I think has developed a great sense of accountability and transparency in, within the archdiocese. This is exactly an effort uh, uh, to, first of all, report back to the bishops of the United States. I'll, I'll, I'll be giving a report back in June at the meeting that we'll have in St. Louis. And then through programs like, uh, like this one, our conversations and other vehicles to get the word out to Catholics so that uh, the people of Haiti are not forgotten. Okay. Now, you know, we have many twinning parishes, so we have many relationships sure. of parish to parish work. And so uh, connections with the people of Haiti are something that our own parishioners in the archdiocese are well familiar with. Very good. Maybe I can ask you a little bit of a personal question. Sure. I'd like to know what you experience when you do this kind of a visit. Um, I, I saw pictures of you blessing a, a hospital, I think, or, or uh, perhaps presiding at Eucharist. What do you experience personally, Archbishop? Well, first of all, uh, people are people. Okay. And so, uh, uh, in, a, in, a, in a sense, um, I think for me to enter into the lives of people, and often people who've suffered a lot more than we would experience here in the United States, and to see their sense of hope, uh, to see that, that, that uh, the Haitian people uh, they want to provide for their families. They want, and they want to be able to make decisions, and they should, for their good. And so, in a sense, Brian, I think I'm struck by how beautiful our Catholic Church is in being able to have a communion of people joined from all different parts of the world and yet united in Christ. Uh, when we had the dedication uh, of the hospital, we had the Holy Eucharist. Now. Much of it was in French, and you know how good my <laughs> French is. But, but I didn't miss a beat. I felt very much a part of, of uh, that Eucharistic celebration. And all the people who came, um, including uh, the people who understood uh, my Creole, I said, Messi en pile, which means thanks very much. And I said it often. Uh, so it was, it was just a wonderful experience. And I'm so glad that uh, we have this opportunity here in conversations to let people know about uh, the great gifts uh, that the people of Haiti bring to us and the great partnership uh, that has come about because of the tragedy of the earthquake. You know, here in the Archdiocese, we have a a small but growing Haitian community. We have a small but growing uh, Philippine community. Uh, your world travels are, are not for that purpose, but isn't it fascinating how we see here in Kentucky, the worldwide arms of, of Christ through us, connecting to the whole world of the church. It's, it's an elastic border. Ah, elastic and, border. and how That's great right. to be part of it. Thank That's you, great. Brian. Archbishop, thank you for sharing that, that your, your travel story with us, but also for your personal witness, you allow us to be present in those places for your travels, and that's a real blessing. Thank you. Thanks again for being with us. We're gonna be back in just a few minutes with some young people to talk about confirmation.